What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, Mr. Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, alrighty. So, in this episode, we will be uh, we will be exploring the ruins of Alf. Now, there is a little something that I need to do before we get to the ruins of Alf. Now, I do need a water stone. And uh, it is for this specific reason. Now, a few ways that you can actually get the water stone. You can get it through, um, I think, Wilton. Fisherman Wilton, if he calls you. Um, what was it? What was the other one? Completely forgetting. I'm like shooting the blank right here. Oh, yes, BPs. And this form right here, which, of course, it's uh, going to Bill's house. Or Bill's grandpa's house or cottage or whatever it's called. So, the easiest way to get a water stone right here. Now you do need three different Pokemon for this kind of a uh, thing right here because he does want to see three different kinds of Pokemon now. Um, he does want to see an Oddish, a Lickitung, and I would like to say a Starmie, or no, a Star U. And all three Pokemon are accessible right here in Pokemon Crystal. So luckily for me, off screen, I did capture those three Pokemon along the way. So let's go right in and talk to this guy right here and see what he has to say right here so like he's like my grandson bill told me about a pokemon that has a tongue a long tongue if you have that pokemon may i see it please okay i'm gonna show it to you right now here it is lick a tongue ah so that is lick a tongue isn't it a cute that's so kind of you thanks this is a token of my appreciation and we get ourselves an everstone which well, you guys already know it's not really of a, a good stone if you guys don't want to evolve your Pokemon or whatever. Okay, so let's move on forward right here. Now go back in. He's going to he's gonna ask you for another Pokemon right here. He's like, ah, my grandson mentioned a round green Pokemon that has leaves growing out on its head. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it? Well, what, what do you know? I do have that Pokemon right here, and it's Oddish. He's like, oh, it's Oddish. Isn't it a cute? That's so kind of you. Thanks. This is a token of my appreciation. We get ourselves a Leaf Stone, which, you know, it's really hard to come by right here in Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Silver, Gold, you know, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, now the last thing that we need is a Water Stone. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. He's like, do you know a, po a sea Pokemon that has a red sphere on its body? You know, the one that's like, shape, like shaped like a heart. Or, no, not shaped like a heart. What the heck am I talking about? It's shaped like a star. Again, sorry, Draven never read a lot, a lot of books. As you can see, my vocabulary and everything's freaking off, so don't laugh at me. It's shaped like a star? I heard that it appears at night. I would surely like to see it. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it? Heck yes. Look at this. Star you. Oh, Star you, isn't it cute? That's kind of kind of you. Thanks. This is the uh, token of my appreciation, and we get that water stone, which many of you guys already know. I, I kind of wanted to, you know, kind of wanted to get a Pokemon that uses that water stone, but I kind of thought ahead and said that, yeah, you know what, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna be fast forwarding to the ruins of Val. So stay tuned, or not stay tuned. I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. Alrighty, a little bit of a fast forward right here, and uh, now what we did right here was we actually grabbed a little bit of something right here. We actually grabbed Ho-Oh because this whole Ruins of Alf thing it actually involves, uh, involves Ho-Oh right here too, mainly because of its uh, strange patterns and, uh, you know, mysterious uh, mysteries and uh, riddles and all that stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be going straight to the Ruins of Alf right here near Route 32. Now we've passed this place so many times. We put it off until the very, very end right here, guys. As you can see, this is the Ruins of Alf. I believe there are four areas right here to this whole thing. Um, let's see. Ruins of Alf. Oh, visitors are welcome. So we're going to go right here and talk to these people first. Now, these guys are scientists, and they're going to be like, the ruins are the ruins are about 1,500 years old, but it is not known why or why or why they were built or by whom, which is kind of ironic because it's like maybe it's by Pokemon or something. Talk to this guy. There's an odd pattern, or there are patterns drawn onto the walls of the ruins. They must be keys to unraveling a mystery. Okay. That could be true. That could be true. So we're going to start off with the first one that we should have started off with a few a few episodes ago, and it's this one right here. Now, if you go in here, you can see that there's somebody right here looking at, at us, and he's like, Welcome to this chamber. There are sliding panels that de depict a Pokemon drawn by the ancients. Slide the panels around it to form the picture. To do that, or to the right is the description of the Pokemon. 
Scientists in the bag are examining some newly formed patterns. Hmm, wonder what that could be. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he'll be telling you, Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd, they weren't here a little while, a little while ago. You should, uh, you should take a look at these walls. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the walls right here. Now, if you look at the patterns, it says escape. That could be a clue right there. There is only one item that we know of that has escape, and that is the escape rope. So let's see what would happen if we use an escape rope right here now. Escape rope. That actually gets us out of the place. Now, if you go back inside, the room starts shaking, and you're wondering, what the heck is happening? Something opens, and if you see right there, a door opens next to the scientist. Now, talk to him. He's like, ah, here's another huge hole. It's a big enough to go through. Okay, we're going to go through that hole. That's right, guys. We're going to go through the hole. That's right. So, if you guys can see, look at that. Found some new items right here. It's gonna be a berry. Well, it's gonna be a few berries and healing items right here. Let's see. Grab this one. Yes, a poison cure berry. Gotta love that. Now, this one is a an energy powder, which is good. And what else? What else? Ah, oh, look at that. The heal powder. Okay. Alrighty. And now we're going down here, and there are some words right here onto the floor, or maybe on the wall. Our words. Shall, huh, our word shall remain here for the, huh, what does that say? A, Z, E, S. Hmm. For the area? For the, okay, I, I, I really need to check this out onto, onto Bulbapedia right here, guys, because... This is this is kind of confusing me a little bit. All right. Well, while this is going on, while I'm checking up on stuff on Bulbapedia, I'm gonna go back out here, and we're actually gonna solve the the puzzle now. If you can see, we're inside the ruins of Elf, and uh, well, right now there's nothing except for tourists. Now this guy's gonna be like this. Uh, this is a big room, but there's nothing here, which is true, except there are Pokemon looking at us right now, which is kind of scary. And here's a nice lady, and she's like, this place has a mythical quality to it. It feels sort of uh, ethereal, even. I don't even know what that means, but okay. All right, ethereal. That's a new word for the day, guys. All right, so I'm checking out the ruins of Alf. Okay, so ruins of Alf. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna stand right here for just a bit. Okay. Um, walk your Pokemon effects, preview, layout. Okay, so there. Okay, so what it says. Let's see, what does it say? Jesus criminy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm still. I, I still can't. I, I still haven't figured it out. Huh. Alright. Here it is, guys. Comment down below and let me know what that first message means. I really don't know what it is. I'm not going to waste any more time trying to figure it out. So let's go right here to the sliding panels now. The description is a Pokemon that hit for or hit uh, on the sea floor. Eyes on its uh, on its back. Scan the area. Hmm. Of course, they're talking about Kabuto. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to get the corners. This is usually the easiest part to actually uh, find or to actually uh, take care of right here. So we're going right here, and just be careful where you put these because, of course, you know, a lot of a lot of these shapes looks look eerily similar, and you know, it might screw you up a little bit. And uh, let's see, we're gonna go right here. Let's see, we're gonna go right here. Uh, that could be right. Wow. See, uh, you see what I mean, guys? Go either way. So let's go right here. That was probably something to right there to screw you over. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put that there. That right there. And we're almost done. And look at that, guys. Kabuto is appearing before our very eyes. But we got something mixed up right here. I believe it's the bottom portion right here. Right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a Kabuto. All right, so after doing that, room starts shaking again, and would you look at that? 
Oh, jeez. There's a strange presence here. Hmm. Now, if you keep on moving forward, guys, you will be able to encounter Unknown. I think this uh, opens up Unknowns 8 through E, I believe. I, I, I could be wrong, guys. But it actually opens up to different letters of the alphabet. And as you can see, this is un Unknown what? K? Yeah, this is Unknown K. Don't want to battle it. And remember, guys, when you're battling Unknown, they only have one attack. And that's uh, Hidden Power. That's it. And, uh, jeez, what, what, what are you? Unknown D? No, that can't be D. That's... Jesus, man. Why? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know my Pokemon alphabet. So that's one down. Now we're going to go down here. And there's an area right here where we needed to surf by. So I'm going to be using Nessie right here. And uh, there is a nice cave waiting for us right here. Now, we got to read this first. It says right here, patterns. It says light. So now... The reason why we brought Lucky right here was because it knows Flash. Now you need a Pokemon that knows Flash. Use it, and as you can see right here, BAM! It starts opening up a K or an area right here. Look at that. Look at that. We just found it. So let's go back inside and grab some more items right here. Found ourselves a gold berry. Hopefully it's not moldy. And uh, let's see, what is this? A moonstone. Okay, I thought we were done with moonstones, but alright. And then grab this one, an energy root. Also a very good uh, item to actually have. And a heal powder. Okay. Alrighty, okay. Let's go back down, and of course there's a message right here for you guys. It says, uh, thus we shall, thus we shall, uh, thus we shall something a Pokemon, oh, erect. Oh, that was Unknown C. Okay, thus we shall erect a Pokemon statue outside. Huh. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. And I don't want to battle any of these unknowns, so the good thing is that we do have repels right here, so let's go and get those repels out. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it for America. Greatest goddamn country in the world, right? I don't know. Alright, so, uh, huh, weren't you just in there? He's like, while exploring the ruins, we suddenly noticed an odd presence. We all got scared and ran away. You should be careful, too. The ruins hide a huge secret, I think. Okay, the huge secret, guys, it's Pokemon. It's the unknowns. That is a secret, guys. Okay, now, now that we figured that portion out, now we have to figure out what this puzzle is all about. It says, this flying Pokemon attacked its uh, prey with its saw-like fangs. Could be one Pokemon right here. Could be Aerodactyl, right? Wrong, I don't know. Corners right here. Okay, here we go. Corners right there, and uh, let's see. Corner right there. Where's the other corner? I'm trying to look for the other corner. Ah, there you are. Thought you could get away from me, huh? Good old Draven will, will find you anyways. Right here? Right there. There we go. Right there. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, we're getting this. We're getting this. Okay. No, it's right here. And there we go. Yep, it's starting to be, it's starting to look like an Aerodactyl right here. Yes. Don't we have an Aerodactyl? Yes, we do. Oh, um, just gonna leave that there. And okay, so I think I got something wrong right here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I did get something wrong. Now I fixed it. And no, right here. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I was wrong. No, I was wrong. Okay, right here. There it is. Okay, so I almost I almost messed up right there. And would you look at that? That is another uh, puzzle f uh, fixed up right there, and it, it happens to be an Aerodactyl. Now that opens up. I don't know what letters, but it uh, it opens up more more unknowns to come out. And as you can see, there is a strange presence here. What could it be, guys? More unknowns, and I don't want to find out because those Pokemon are kind of creepy, kind of weird. I don't know. They are. Okay, so the next one has to be right here. 
which we will actually have to go to the uh, Union Cave. So I'm going to fast forward and get to the area where I need to be in order to get to that cave. So I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. Alrighty, so here we are in the first part of the ruins, uh, or not the ruins of all, but in the uh, Union Cave. If you remember, we can go right here. And there was a section here that we actually didn't go through just because, you know, we didn't have the surf technique. But now we do! So let's go right ahead and take a, uh, take a good look at uh, what we're supposed to be looking at now. There are a few trainers right here. We already battled them. Of course, a Pokemon has to attack us because, you know, why not? Why not? Draven's an easy target, right? Wrong. I'm going to destroy you with Nessie. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I just forgot to put on some Max Repel. So let's go right ahead and use that Max Repel. Like we should. Come on. Where's that Max Repel? There it is. Okay. Max Repel taken care of. Now, there's two sections right here that you can actually go to. Uh, first one is this one up here, and then the other one is where the uh, strength or the boulder is at. So what we're gonna we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go right here first. And good thing is that we have Lucky as a uh, you know as a Pokemon that can actually help us move this boulder right here. Now, as you can see, it leads us to another section. Now, try be careful with moving this going or going all the way down because you won't get. You will have to go all the way over to the to Union Cave to get to this part right here. Now, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, as you can see, something just opens, and we're like, we're wondering what the heck is going on right here. Huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so what the next message is, water. Now, if you guys remember, we got the water stone, and if you have a water stone in your bag, this place automatically opens. So now, we're going to be uh, going in here. Grabbing this, and it's a mystery barrier. Of course, we have a full bag, so. Alright. Something needs to go. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Berry, we don't really need the berry. Okay, none of our Pokemon got attacked. And, uh, you know what? We don't need an escape rope right here. We already used them up. And, uh, ethers, we probably need that. You know what? We don't really need the energy powder, so let's just go ahead and uh, take care of that. And let's go. Let's go ahead and grab some of these items. We got a mystery, a mystery berry right here. And uh, let's see, an, a mystic water. So if you guys haven't gotten that, you can actually get a, get one right in here. And you know what? I'm gonna actually give that to Nessie right here. That way makes more room into our uh, bag right here and then we found ourselves a star piece which you can actually sell for a good a good amount of money and this one right here is stardust not the wrestler it's the item and here we are going back down and as you can see we got more more words let's see they possess okay they possess great in oh wow they in and refuse the the outside world. Okay, say so they possess great insider insight. Oh, they they possess great insight and refuse the outside world. Okay, okay, I finally figured it out. <laughs> Again, freaking what was it? Pokemon. Pokemon uh, uh, ABCs. Don't get it. I really don't. And okay, so we still have that. And uh, another cool thing that you can actually do here, guys, if you go to, into your Poke Gear and go into any kind of channels right here, as you can see, you can hear these uh, unknowns talking to you. You can hear them talking. So just go ahead and just, uh, well, just put it onto your radio station. It just sounds so weird right here. Okay, so that is one thing. And I'm going to be fast forwarding back to the same place just so we can get that whole puzzle taken care of right now. So I'll be right back again. Well, hello there. We're finally back again here in the, this area. And now it is time to find out what this whole puzzle is all about. So let's go right ahead and read this whole uh, this whole thing this Pokemon dr uh, drifted in the sea by twisting his ten tentacles now I know for a fact it can't be tentacruel it's gotta be something else and oh crud okay so th this is Omanyte of course is the hardest one so I can't exactly figure out which one is the corners right here let's see is this the corner 
this is a corner. Okay. I'm gonna try and figure out corners and then work my way around here somewhere. I Jesus man, this is a Yeah, this is this is gonna be a hard one right here. Where is the oh, okay there it is. Of course this could screw you up just uh, a few times because of course uh, uh what was it? Almanite's Almanite's uh look is just it's you know it does have ten tentacles, tentacles, I should say, and plus its shell. It re it could really mess you up just like that as well. And uh, I could, I probably got that wrong. I don't know. Let's go right here and uh, let's go down. Shoot, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a this is a tough one right here, guys. So bear with me just a little bit and see if I can actually figure this goddamn thing out. Out. You see, the lining right here just, it matches with everything. It really does. I'm going to put it right there, just in case, and uh, I'm just going to try and figure everything else out. And as you can probably tell, I got that wrong, so I'm just going to have to put this. Okay, that is, that is a shell. Okay, let's put that right there. It's, God. Okay, it could be... Jesus. Okay. I'm still trying to figure it out, guys. Don't worry. Still trying to figure it out. Okay. Let's see. Um, if I put this one over here, I know that for a fact going to be... Huh. Okay. So I think I have an idea where I went wrong right here. Right here. 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 Not there, I should say. Here. Move this all around. Oh, jeez. Okay. I probably... Got it right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I... Jeez, I see... Jesus Christ! There we go! We finally got it right. It doesn't look like Omanyte, to be honest. As you can see, it's just it just doesn't look like it. It just... Whatever, I don't know, I don't care. So here we are, we're falling into a hole right there, and uh, of course, there is a strange presence here. I am afraid of this place, I really am, so I'm going to be using this, and uh, okay, we still have that going on. So we got one more place to go, and uh, let's see, I think, yeah, we're going to have to go through that place twice, which is hilarious, because, oh god, we're going through that place way too many times. So Okay, so I'm going to fast forward towards the entrance area or towards the area where we need to enter so let me fast forward right now why hello there so here we are back into uh, <laughs> the Union Cave and right before we move even further I need to put on another repel because yes we moved way more than 250 steps right here so okay so here we are in the ruins of Alf and I did not battle this guy you guys want to watch a battle yeah, okay, let's let's watch a battle right here. See how easily you know what let's let's use our favorite Pokemon right here. Let's use Ho oh. This guy that causes so much trouble, so let's go. No, he doesn't want to battle us. I like thinking here. Okay, I think I've already been here before. Remind me if I'm wrong. Okay, so never mind. Now here we are at the cave that we need to get to, and once we get inside Uh oh. Something opens. Oh jeez. Huh. Okay, so another entrance has opened right here. Now, if you read the scripture, it says Ho-Oh. So now, in this room right here, this is the reason why we needed to capture Ho-Oh. It's for this room right here. Now, you got to put them in the front of your uh, your uh, your team and actually to actually get this uh, thing to work. So now, grabbing a few items right here. Gold berry, of course. They like to like to leave a lot of gold berries here and uh, mystery berries. Gotta love those mystery berries, you know taste or you can taste it and uh, we got a revival herb and a charcoal which you can actually buy over at uh, Azalea Town and uh, you know what I am going to yeah really okay you know what I'm gonna get rid of this toss that and you know what I am going to give I'm going to give that to Lucky that way I can make some uh, some room for these guys right here. Cause yes, let's why 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 throw these uh or why waste these items right here? So we have another charcoal and grab that one and a revival herb and we got one last message right here. 
let's go down and of course it has a lot of scripture right here so it says right here we oh crap we unknowns must or we humans must learn to work on harmony with with them we depart for their their sakes I could I could say this wrong so what it says is uh, let's see we we humans must learn to work to work uh, in harmony with with them we depart for their sake I guess I don't know I could be wrong comment down below guys you have every right to comment down below and let me know exactly what this message says and that is it for the last uh, last of the uh, of the uh, of the ruin so again I'm gonna have to fast forward straight to the um, to the entrance and then figure out the you know the whole puzzle thing so I'll be right back with you guys really Dana really uh Draven it's me it's me Dana right now I'm on route route 38 if you're close let's battle I'll be waiting for you uh, how about no how about no let's wait for that Seriously, I hate these people who call me. Alright, so the last thing we need to do is we need to figure out what this puzzle is all about. And it says right here, a Pokemon that flew gracefully on rainbow colored wings. Hmm, doesn't that sound so, so familiar? Alright, let's see what this puzzle has for us. I, this is a good puzzle right here. I can break it, you know. It took me a little bit just to uh, break the whole Omnic uh, puzzle. I, I think I can handle this one right here, of this uh, rainbow chicken right here. Right here, could be nope. Right here, okay. All right, let's see what this rainbow chicken is. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, okay. Gotta get the sides. Always get the sides, guys. And uh, let's go right here. Could be wrong. Here, here. Yeah, let's go right here. And uh, right here. And uh, let's go the other way around. And uh, let's see. That could be right here, and uh, that one right there. Huh? Okay, that right there. Nope. All right, there we go. And let's see. Oh, okay. So we're finally getting it right here, right there, and finish. Nope. Finish off with this. Wow, okay, so I got that wrong. Okay, so what? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got that one wrong, and right here. And, uh, huh. Okay, I think I know what I'm getting wrong right here. So I got that, switch them around. And there you go, guys. That's how you, that's how you solve the rainbow chicken puzzle right there. Alrighty, okay. Would you look at that? And of course, there's an odd presence here. Or a strange presence around. Okay, so that was pretty much it for the uh, Ruins of Alpha right there, guys. Everything is solved. I am not going to capture all 27 or 28 or whatever Pokemon are there. Now, if you talk to these guys, he's like, Pokemon appeared in the ruins? That's incredible news! We'll need to investigate this. Well, I've already investigated it for you guys. So you guys already, you guys failed. The strange Pokemon you saw in the ruins. They appear to they appear to be very much like the drawings on the walls there. Hmm. That must mean there are many kinds of them. Could be. Alrighty, guys. So we we finished everything right here. Everything that we need to do. And uh, I know many of you guys have been looking forward towards a battle right here. So we're gonna finish off this whole episode with one more thing. So another fast forward right here. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Alrighty, guys. So, the last thing we need to do here is, uh, well, the last battle. Very, very last battle against a specific someone that, you know, we've been having beef with since the very beginning. So, let's go right ahead and see where he's at right now. Since it's Monday, I guess he's going to find us right here. As you can see, hold it. 
you're going to take the Pokemon League challenge now. That's not going to happen. My super well-trained Pokemon are going to pound you. Draven, I challenge you. And as you can see, and as you can hear, oh shit, got real right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final battle against our rival, Silver, and would you look at this. He's coming out with his Sneasel, so I'm going to be coming out with Kid Thunder. Alrighty. So, if you guys probably remember, yes, this guy turns out to be a huge dick throughout the whole beginning, but, you know, eventually he learns to be a very, very good trainer to his Pokemon. You're, you're going to see right here, I'm going to be kicking the living crap out of his Pokemon, and he's just going to continue on right here by saying stuff and whatever, and wow, he's, wow throwing that defense on me so here we go quick attack on me but here we go with my kind of attack Thunderbolt that's right you didn't like that huh say goodbye to Sneasel oh yes Cinder you're getting experience points just by not doing anything and he's gonna come out with his Magneton so I might as well go with the guy that you know is getting experience points and just sitting down now after you become champion you did like we did battle um we did battle uh, Silver one time over at Mount Moon, and he started to re you, you you start to see the change in him. Where he's talking about how he needs to be a little bit more better to his Pokemon, a lot more nicer, loving, and all that stuff. And during that whole time, you can actually find him at the Dragon's Den training and stuff. But since it's Monday, you can actually battle him right here in the Pokemon League. And because of the sound of this uh, the song right here, yes, this is the last battle for us right here. So. I'm just gonna take advantage and just kick the living crap out of him because you know what? It's been what? Three months of him just pushing me around and me, I'm about to beat the loot the you know what out of him. So here we go, Kid Thunder again. Let's go with that Thunderbolt. That's right. Kid Thunder, you 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 are a beast. You are a beast of a Pokemon. Look at that. Kid Thunder destroys for alligator. And uh, gross to level 54, pretty good, pretty good stuff right there. Alrighty, and uh, what are you coming out with? He's coming out with his Gengar. Okay, let's go with the man, the myth, the legend, Relic right here. I wonder if Relic is uh, actually a boy or a girl, I can't remember. Alright, here we go, Relic. Let's get this. It's a boy, okay, alright. So let's go with that Shadow Ball right here. Yeah. You're going all the way down. All the way down! That's right. Pokemon are dominating you right here. Now, another proof that his Pokemon are loving him is through this Crobat right here. I'm just going to keep Relic right here. If you guys don't know, Goldbat can actually evolve through its happiness. And as you can see, the last six battles that we had with uh, Silver, it's always been a Goldbat until now. You can see it's a Crobat right here, and that usually means that this Pokemon right here actually learned to appreciate his Pokemon, or his trainer. So, you can see the difference, but now if you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you guys would actually see the difference in this guy. Complete difference in his backstory. Perfect. And, uh, well, that's the end of that guy, and he's got one more Pokemon with him. I'm gonna take it up with Teddy right here. That's right, Teddy's got a little something for your ass right here. It's Alakazam is just looking at me, all me mugging and all that stuff. So, Teddy, it's been a while, buddy. Let's do this. Faint attack and uh, oh, you're gonna go first. Okay, I, I see what I'm, I, I see. I see Alakazam, you jerk. There we go. Faint attack does its thing. I'm gonna go again with another faint attack and wow, this is uh, this is bad. It can't be bad. I don't know. It's only attack that it's hit. Uh, it's got on me. And there's that faint attack again. Would you look at that? Say goodbye to Alakazam. Hell yeah! And that is how you grow a level, guys. Look at that. And that is it, guys. The last battle against Silver, and he's like, dot dot dot. Okay, I lost. So he finally admits defeat right here, and uh, he's like, darn. I still can't win. I I have to think more about my Pokemon. <laughs> Try not to lose. We won't. We won't, buddy. Anywho, guys, that was actually the last thing we needed to do right here. So, 
Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it is the final episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Yes, guys, it's finally time. It's going to be like what? It's, it's, all, it's all reminiscent and stuff. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, you do not want to miss this. It's going to be fun. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.